Today's workout is a second trimester prenatal cardio workout. We're gonna work for 50 seconds and rest for 10. We've only got 10 minutes, so let's get to work. We're gonna start down, come to your hands and knees with a bare squat. So hands under shoulders, we're gonna take those knees out of the ground, push the hips back, and then we're gonna push forward into a plank right here. So hips back and then come forward. Hips back and then forward. So you're pushing your butt toward your heels and then you're bracing your core to come into that plank. You can move as quick and or as slow as you want to through this one. We're just creating some hip mobility here. And if it's too intense to come into that plank, just squat like this and then just put your knees down and then push right back into it. You can modify like this. So the second trimester, you might find your stomach's grown quite a bit. So we wanna take care to make sure we're continuing to brace that core, drawing the belly button in toward the spine. And if we feel too much pressure, just slow it down, take a break or modify as needed. Rest, we're gonna to come to our feet for a ball slam. So imagine you've got a ball and it's about 10 pounds. Feet just outside hips, take those arms overhead and we're gonna throw it down, pick it back up, throw it again. So you could use a real ball if you have one, but what I want you to do is squat down, show you from the side, and throw that ball hard on the ground. If you got any pent up frustration, now's a good time to let it out. This one should get your heart rate up. Again, if it's too much, just slow it down, take more breaks. Really squat down when you throw, full body here. Rest. All right, we're moving to a squat punch. Take your feet a little bit wider for me. We're gonna squat and we're gonna punch left and right. Here we go, squat, punch left, punch right. Do it again, squat, left, right. Squat, heel, hips go toward knee level, toes out. And then when we punch, you can see I'm releasing my heel, punching to the corner. And by releasing that heel, it allows your hips to power that movement, protects your knees. You can go as quick or as slow as you want through this one against a cardio workout. So the focus today is getting that heart rate up. But if you're not feeling great, or if you're just feeling more out of breath than usual, which who isn't in their second trimester, just take it a little slower. It's designed so it's timed. You don't have to worry about how many reps you're doing. You go at your own pace. Nice, all right. Moving on to a bird dog pulse. Hands and knees. We're gonna lift the right arm and the left leg and we're gonna keep it up and pulse. So your arm's gonna go about shoulder height, leg about hip height, here we go. Arm and leg pulse. So you're pushing through that hand that's on the ground, keeping that hand right under your shoulder. Your foot can be flexed or pointed, doesn't matter too much here, but we wanna keep that leg about hip level. And then we're only moving about two inches up and down. So it's a tiny movement you can feel that pressure right in your glute, in your core. And if it's too much, you can always come down like this, come up and give me a pulse, and then come down and just release some of that pressure. But you wanna take care, whatever you're doing, make sure you're not leaning over. Stay strong through that bottom arm. Stay strong through the core, pulling that belly button in toward your spine. And breathe. All right, we're resting and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So that's the left arm and the right leg. Take it up and pulse. Squeeze that glute. Drawing in, embracing the core, pushing through that hand that's on the ground. And keeping that shoulder over your wrist is gonna help you maintain balance. And good balance is so important during pregnancy because that's gonna help us stay strong as we gain the weight that we need to and help us from injury or excessive tension, muscle pain, all that kind of stuff that always comes with pregnancy. 
but by maintaining strong core, good balance, we can help alleviate some of that unnecessary pain and tension. All right, rest. We're going to go to a squat and a glute kick back. So come to your feet, feet just outside of your hips. You can take your hands on your hips here. We're gonna squat down and then kick one leg back to the corner and then switch legs. So when you kick back, that leg is straight. You're pushing through the heel, taking that heel up and out. You can see from the side, chest is lifted, abs tight. You're gonna feel that hip extension, that glute right here. Try not to shift your weight. If you can see me from the front, I'm not leaning much to the side. I'm trying to keep my chest in between my feet. And working on that balance, that core strength. When we lift that leg, your core has to work really hard. And these are great exercises like the bird dog, this one, that are working your core, but you're not having to do a crunch, not having to hold a plank. So it's gonna build that core strength without compromising your abs and creating that ab separation. All right, we're gonna move on to a stepping half burpee. So come to the end of your mat or in the middle toward the back. We're gonna put the hands down, step the feet back one at a time, step in one at a time, come all the way up. Let's do that again. So hands down, step one foot back, other foot back, foot up and reset. So you can see I'm squatting, then stepping back and then squatting here before I stand up. And if you can remember to do it, alternate the leg you're stepping back with. It's also great for hip mobility. Working those shoulders, the core. Again, feel free to take it as slow as you'd like. Rest, we're gonna move on to a squat thrust. So this one, is kind of the reverse of that ball swing. We're gonna squat first and then throw, like we've got an invisible ball toward the ceiling. Here we go. Squat, throw. So thrust those hips and then thrust that invisible ball up toward the ceiling. Feel that in your shoulders. You catch that ball, squeeze those biceps, pull your shoulders back and down. And then don't forget about that squat. Once your butt almost your knees. Keeping that core tight. Full body here, getting that heart rate up. And we got 10 seconds. Nice. All right, we're gonna move to a squat and we're gonna walk in and out. So, we're gonna start with those feet narrow. Hands can be in front of your chest, however you want them. I want you to squat, we're gonna walk out, out, in, in, switch sides. Out, out, in, in, keep switching. So, we're staying low. Just walking the feet out a couple inches and in a couple inches. How low you are is determined by you. So you can be up here, you can be down here, or anywhere in between. But we wanna keep those toes light on the floor, weight mainly in the heels. Chest up as we're moving. So you can see my chest is lifted the whole time. I'm not rounding my back or hunching over to try to get down. And if you notice you're doing that, just come up a little higher. Almost there. Good work, guys. All right, we're moving to a shovel touchdown. It's our last exercise. So start on one end of your mat. We're gonna shuffle lightly on those feet. Touch the hand down. Here we go. Shuffle, touch down. Now we are picking up those feet. If you're uncomfortable doing that, feel, don't feel confident. You can always just step and touch down instead. And that's a perfect modification. But if you can, come with me, shuffle those feet. Nice and light on the floor. Keeping that chest up. How low you go is determined by you. So if you wanna go lower, go for it. Finishing 
We have a big heart rate burner. We're almost there, 10 seconds. Nice, we made it. 10 minutes, heart rates are up. Hope you guys enjoyed it and be sure to check out my other workouts for the second trimester. I'll see you next time.